going on YouTube. It's Living Lawless with my official one week update on my double jaw surgery open bite. And um, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to tell you how it's been, man. It's been rough. Uh, you got to apologize for me. I know it's hard to understand me. I'm going to be wiping my lips a lot. That's because the drool. You know, hey, it's frustrating for y'all as it is for me. So, but the main important thing is y'all see the swelling. Yes, I look like a chipmunk. Feel a lot of swelling out of the week. Um, uh, my nose just came back on. But what I'm here to tell y'all about is, you know, day by day. So, um, surgery morning. Um, y'all saw that. You're probably just getting from that video. Um, I probably waited about an hour, two hours to go in there and do surgery. My surgery did not start at five o'clock, but I did go in there and set up everything. And I ended up going to surgery. Uh, surgery that was horrible. You hear me? Horrible. Uh, I swallowed so much blood. And I woke up during surgery. Put back to sleep. I don't remember it, but I got woke up during surgery. They said I woke myself up, basically. Um, I swallowed so much blood, I threw up a lot of blood my first day. And it was really uncomfortable. It was uh, uncomfortable, man. It was rough. Uh... Surgery went fine, though, obviously, but my first day was rough. Uh, the hospital did the best thing they could. Uh, I definitely did not know what I was at, what I was getting into. So let me tell y'all something. That happy, living lawless, you know, you saw that, man, he did not know what he was getting himself into. You know, but uh, I'm here. I made it. Um, and we're going to get in, you know, from day, from really the next day after the surgery. Because that's really when it picks up. Because I slept most of my the first day of doing I wasn't throwing up or being miserable. All right. So, uh, I took down notes to help me help y'all. Because I want people to get as much from my video as they can, you know. I understand people want their video to be short to keep people's attention. But when you got people like myself that are really going through it, we need everything. Lay it all out on me. So, day one uh, uh, was obviously the worst. I threw up a lot of blood. Like I talk about surgery, is day one. Um, I didn't eat anything. Couldn't even drink water without throwing up. Uh, day two, I didn't get any sleep. Uh, it was rough. My last day in the hospital, uh, I ate watered down grits in the morning in a protein shake, which I will show y'all because I like them. Very tasty. Better than this here. I'll get closer. Way better than this here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ate that. I felt good. Uh, beware the steroid shot they give you. Uh, the steroid shot they give you is going to make you feel like Superman. Uh, but also, gonna, you know, you're going to be off that high when you get home. Uh, release around 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., no congestion pain started becoming a problem because I couldn't breathe. They had to stick a tube up my nose instead of my throat during surgery. So I couldn't breathe through my nose. Uh, nerves in my bottom, uh, the nerves in my bottom lip slowly started coming back. Excuse me. Uh, you know, and then day three, by far, by far, that was the worst day swelling wise. You know, it was horrible. Oh, y'all. I may even post a picture in the comment section if asked. It was horrible, man. It was, it was, it was, it was really bad. Um, uh, bruising underneath my eye sockets, you know, they were, they were bad. I'm like, underneath my eye sockets, but that's my job, you know, how close it is. Had bruising underneath, it looked like patches. Um, what else? Um, uh, the congestion pain spiking. Uh, I had blood clots around my nose constantly. I couldn't breathe, of course. Uh, trying to slide down my throat. You know, they were trying to go in or down my throat uh, from my nose. And then me swallowing. You know, it, 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 was, it was rough. Um, uh, I ended up forcing myself to eat. And that was the best thing I could have did. You need to get your body back in the habit and the rhythm of eating. Um, you need to do that. That was the best thing that I did that day. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so far, other than day one, that was the worst day, day three. Day three, that was probably one of my worst days. 
day four, I woke up, I took me a shower, that gave me life. Oh, man, no shower. I'm telling you, hot shower. I literally did this with the water and, and did like this, so just bath onto my face. You know what I'm saying? Um, I uh, woke up, drank a protein shake. You know, woke up with that protein shake. Uh, uh, I started listening to my music again, trying to get in my rhythm. And day four was my first day I felt like myself, kind of. You know, I kind of was just going through the motions, one through three. I was like, this shit shitty. No regrets. But the shit was tough. And the shit was shitty. You know what I'm saying? It was bad. It was real bad. Uh, um, I used Vicks. Uh, rubbing test, which I got over there, I can get up and get it. Uh, I could take breaks from ice pack starting then. Day five, uh, I could remove the crust out my eyes, and um, swelling started going down. Uh, drank my first day drinking two protein shakes, two of them that day, and uh, yeah, I started feeling, you know, my stomach started feeling better, like it wanted to eat a little bit. Uh, most of the energy I had, you know, you know, had so far had came from me being able to mess around and drink two protein steaks, and then I had cheese grits later. So I got a lot of energy. You know, I feel like a fat person. I kept saying that I felt like a fat person. I go up the stairs and I would literally be like this. <sighs> you know, it's rough, man. It's real rough. Uh. Uh, day five, uh, that's what I was on already. Uh, day five, um, you know, it didn't hurt. I didn't fall asleep the late, and um, it hurt when you yawn. Go to sleep on time, man. It hurts when you yawn so bad. So uh, go to sleep on time. Day six, uh, my nose started opening up um, from the bix. Um, a natural, I didn't blow my nose, I wasn't using spray, I was using Bix, trying to naturally do it, you know, you know your body, don't push yourself to do anything that you're not ready to do, like me making this video, I wasn't ready to make a video, because I couldn't talk that much, and I know y'all like, I have people saying, well, make another video, I want to see how you look, well, I couldn't speak, you know, it hurts, you know, even for this, I had to ask my face for an hour, just so I could talk to y'all, you know, so, um, watch yourself talking, man. You're going to want to jump back in and talk. Your kids going to be frustrated. People can't understand you. People keep saying, huh, laughing at you. It's frustrating, you know. I felt like an old crab, you know, ready to snap on anybody. You know what I'm saying? I got the temper, so I had to watch it. Uh, I slept in on day six, ate grits and small protein shakes, and, uh, I swung around, my throat was almost gone, and, um, you know, that put me into day seven, you know, day seven, I still didn't get a lot of sleep, and, uh, that was the day before yesterday, uh, since I'm including my first day as my surgery day, so, uh, you know, I didn't get that much sleep, I was rough, and, um, I really did have to look for another way out of it, I needed more things other than protein shake, because, it got me constipated after so long. That's all I was drinking. So what I have here, a couple of things I was doing. Jello. Add a little water. Stir it up. Applesauce. Uh, what else I got here? Mashed potatoes. Probably be your best friend, man. Do some quick mashed potatoes to make up. Uh, medicines. Let's go over my medicines, man, which you'll probably get. Of course, I got my, uh, my, uh, mouthwash. Mouthwash. Shit nasty as fuck. Strong. Uh, pain. I got some hydrocodone. Liquid, of course. you probably just get liquids, man. Or, my lady, you know, you get liquids. Um, antibiotics. And then, promethazine for, um, the nausea, because, you know, this stuff makes you throw up, you know, nothing on your stomach, it's like drinking lean, you gotta have something on your stomach, my nigga, so, uh, what else I got, uh, 
what else we got here? Okay. I put this down on purpose. My first two days, I really wasn't, I couldn't feel my lips. So I wasn't worried about this. But this, after those three days, and your lips start wearing off, you realize how much your lips were treated like shit. Excuse me. Uh, you remember how they just treat like shit. They feel horrible. They feel like sandpaper. And it's just another thing for you to, uh, honestly have to get over. Um, it was rough, man. Uh, I couldn't say that enough. If you have not got this shirt and you plan on doing it, man, you're going to have to depend on a lot of people. The people around you, you're going to have to depend on them. You know, that's one thing I didn't say to my other videos. You have to depend on so many people. Uh, and it's hard for me because I'm an independent person, you know. I like to go and do it myself, you know. You're taking too long, I'll go do it myself. I don't got time for that. But you have to be patient. Uh, I'm someone who likes to get somebody right real quick if they do something wrong. Well, you got to have a better idea of doing that. Um, you got to have patience with people. People have to have patience with you. So, you know, be around people like that who's going to have patience with you and not going to just say, fuck you, and leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you got it done, man, uh, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you if you in that first week, you know, every day that I pass this blessing and I feel better, and I swear you'll get through it, you know, um, stay strong, you know, have faith in whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, even if it's just yourself, you know, cause it's, it's hard, it's a whole lot mental, and a whole lot less physical, uh, I see a lot of people ask about pain, well, like I said, you know, after I talk, after this, I'll probably definitely, uh, be in some pain, uh, I'll take me some pain medicine right after this, and I'll, I'll, I'm probably not talking for the rest of the night, but you can't overdo it. You have to know your limit. You, you know what I'm saying? So pain isn't as bad as swelling. You know? Uh, so you just have to, you know, balance out what you can do. You're tired. Lay down. You got energy. Use that energy. And then go lay down. Um, be careful around people and babies and objects, you know, not around your face, um, uh, and, um, every day you look at yourself, don't compare your pictures with old pictures, with, with yesterday, go back two days, three days, four days, and compare, and I swear you'll start feeling better, but the hardest thing is you looking in the mirror you're like, oh my gosh, am I regretting this, and, uh, I'll show you why I'm not regretting it, you know, you see that? Yes, I got a flint in my mouth. I got the doctor appointment on the third. I don't know if the flint coming out. I'll make another video if it does. But it's going to look awesome. And uh, I'm so grateful at Dr. Clark Holmes. I'm grateful for the people praying for me. Check out the videos who my videos have been worthy. And me watching people's videos, it's been helpful. So, you know, you got to have, have some strength for this. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all just saw that. And the slobbing. It's horrible. Drooling is horrible. You probably see me the whole video worry about this drooling habit. You know, it's horrible. Uh, but get used to it. And hang in there. One week update. I'm staying strong. Living lawless. I lost a lot of weight. And I was already skinny. That means you will too. It's okay. Um, and I'll bring another update back in a week unless... Uh, I get my, what you call it, pulled out, my splint. So I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers. Continue to keep me in your prayers. It's a long recovery. But you know what? I'm here for it all. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell right there. And so you can be alerted. And comments, man. I'd rather answer comments than what I'm doing now, <laughs> if that makes sense. But, um... Uh, I'm glad y'all get to see. You know, swelling. So, um, thank y'all. Love y'all. Living lawless. ACWG records. When I come back, it's a wrap. When I fully heal, mm, watch out.